Alex Rubio. Uh, I am currently the uh, artist in residence at the Blue Star Contemporary Art Museum Mosaic Program. Uh, I am also a founder and uh, curator for Art Gallery in the South Flores and Lone Star Art District. Uh, I am uh, currently a uh, working studio artist uh, and uh, I'm uh, coming from a, a, a a background in large-scale public art, uh, mural painting, um, and uh, ceramic tile installation here in San Antonio. So tell us about a day in the life of an artist, a professional artist. Uh, busy. Uh, every single <laughs> moment, I think, uh, you know, from the day you start, um, you know, getting up and getting out, going to, you know, your day job. Uh, in my case, uh, I go to the Blue Star Contemporary Art Museum every day. Uh, I get there um, and most of the day is spent on administration, organizing uh, future exhibits for the students, the Mosaic Program students that I work with, uh, making sure that, uh, you know, I have uh, scheduled exhibitions, at least uh, spring, summer, and fall, um, organizing, um, you know, uh, projects, uh, commissions through the museum for the students, making sure they have enough work uh, that will not only bring in money for the program and for the museum, but for the students as well. So mm -hmm. what I try to do is organize the business of art for uh, art participants and community members. Um, what is your training background as an artist? I think uh, um, what I'm trying to do in, in our community organizations is kind of give the students a, a, um, a look, behind the scenes look into the life of an artist. I think uh, every day they show up, you know, it's, it's something new, it's another challenge, it's uh, another deadline and commission, you know, it's uh, um, working towards you know, uh, completing projects on a timely manner. And also, um, there is quite a bit of, you know, stress at work uh, for these students because they are on deadline and uh, on a very tight schedule. But I think that, um, you know, as I was growing up, I think I was, uh, you know, thrown into that lifestyle at an early age. You know, I was given quite a bit of responsibility by my mentors and, and our directors and they're getting a, a, a really good, you know, idea of what it is to be a working artist every day. Um, how would you describe your artistic style to someone who has never seen your artwork or is new to your artwork? Okay. Um, since 89, I uh, have really kind of developed that, that very signature mark making, that curvilinear style, uh, that very unique, uh, I hope, uh, approach to, to mark making on canvas and uh, it, it uh, takes quite a bit of time to complete these pieces. Um, it, it, um, it's quite a bit of discipline needed to, to sit in front of this canvas for hours and uh, months and, and even some pieces that lasted for a year um, because they're so detailed and and they literally have uh, thousands of layers upon layers of lime texture. Um, what are the themes that you explore in your artwork? I guess my early work um, was, um, I like to call them true stories. Uh, true barrio stories or barrio works. Uh, I've actually uh, uh, entitled uh, a series of drawing uh, entitled Barrio Works, which is barrio is neighborhood, uh, and uh, the works come from that neighborhood. You know, they're inspired by uh, everyday objects, you know, um, you know, random events that really actually happened to me in my life, uh, people and places that uh, still exist. A lot of them don't, you know, because the neighborhood has changed over the years. Uh, how do you research? Do you have the length of time that you put into your research? Mm -hmm. um, I've said 
several times before in interviews that I have a, a lifetime of uh, experience to draw from. Uh, and I think that's part of my research is memories. Uh, the, uh, some of the compositions that I've uh, created were strictly for memory, you know. Uh, some very crazy times in my neighborhood and, and sometimes very difficult uh, times. Uh, I grew up in uh, an area town uh, in the housing projects that were surrounded by, you know, uh, violence, drug violence, gang violence. Um, you know, I myself was uh, a victim of, of gang violence, I guess, in, in, in that uh, composition uh, that I did about the drive-by. Uh, so those are those uh, times that, you know, make it onto the canvas. Uh, how often do you attend art events? Okay. Uh, part of uh, being a, a successful uh, working artist is uh, uh, knowing what's going on in your own community, uh, attending art exhibits, uh, going to lectures and uh, performances and presentations, um, being aware of the uh, uh, talent that you know uh, we're surrounded by in our community. Uh, emerging artist uh, is one of my specialties. I, I really love meeting uh, new people, young people, uh, very uh, uh, creative uh, energy that happens here in San Antonio. I think uh, uh, part of that is uh, introducing you know students to this to this lifestyle and uh, inviting them to these exhibits, getting them out at a very early age and, and you know, experiencing an art show and, and introducing them to, you know, local uh, local artists and uh, getting them involved in workshops uh, that are provided through museums and and uh, nonprofit arts organizations. You know, like the Blue Star and and San Anto Cultural Arts, of course, the uh, San Antonio Museum of Art, the McNay, So many here in San Antonio that uh, we have access to and and we should use as a resource uh, to. Uh, you know, not only uh, uh, network uh, ourselves, and but also to expose others uh, to the creative culture here in San Antonio. Ha, ha, ha.